Hello and welcome to another episode of Friday Harbor Live. I'm so glad to have you here today. You know this place. This is where our brilliant and talented islanders come together to share their skills and stories and talents with island kids of all ages. Woo, and I'm gonna take a deep breath before I say this next part. Speaking of kids of all ages, I've been perusing Facebook today, and I have just been loving the photos of our graduates with their photo pennants in town. Caps and gowns are in place, and wow, um, what an amazing time to get to see all of these, I want to say kids, but I want to be polite too, these young adults um, getting ready for their next chapter. And what a beautiful job everybody has done getting those photo pendants up of them around town. So we celebrate you, graduates. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Um, we may not be by your side, but we are cheering you on. So please know that. And speaking of cheer, a couple of days ago when Suzanne was here, um, she we were talking about things that make your dog happy. And she has sent me a list, and I'll put it into the post, of little toys that will make your dog happy. And quite a few of them you can get at Annie's, also known as Friday Harbor Pet Supply. So um, you can make your pup happy. And speaking of what makes me happy, well, you know guests, you make me happy. And we have two very special guests here today. And in case you want to be one of our guests, you can always fill out our form, which is at bit.ly Friday Harbor Live. Ta-da! And it also might be the case right now that you might need some help. I know I was asking for help with guests, but sometimes some people are in a place right now that they need a little bit more help than that, and it's okay. Know that you are blessed to live in a place that has a handful of organizations who are ready to help you. Saying that, I want you to know that the Family Resource Center website is sjifrc.org, and the Community Foundation Response Hub is sjisland.recovers.org, and both of those links are in the comments, okay? So today, while you're watching, we want you to like, comment, share, do all those fantastic little social media practices to get our message out there. This episode is for our littlest <laughs> islanders. And you know what, caregivers, it's for you too. <laughs> Here are some fun things with Betsy and Yubi um, that they have put together for you about things that go. And they will be here um, in just a moment. I noticed that um, one of our cameras just popped off, but they will be here in a second. And one thing that they are going to be sharing today is um, about masks. And we want you to know that if you need a mask to keep yourself or your child safe, and um, under the age of two, I believe it's not expected for you to do that. Um, but if you need one, so that, you know, if and when you need to leave your home, you have a mask, you can call the Family Resource Center at 360-378-5244 and I'm gonna give a little call out to Yubi. Hey, Yubi, can you go check that Betsy's ready? Cause her camera went off. <laughs> it happens. And so we're just gonna make sure that everybody's ready for you there. Um, I also wanted to tell you another really exciting thing that happened is that all of our episodes um, our last one was number 25, are going up on YouTube. And all of them will be up there by Sunday, I think. So they're slowly rolling out over the next few days. But if you go to Friday Harbor Live on YouTube, you'll be able to see all of our shows there as well. And if you've missed, if you, if you, um, if we missed, um, an episode, you can always go to Friday Harbor Live uh, and that can work as well. Um, sorry, on Facebook. So all of the episodes are already on Facebook, and we're just getting into the practice of putting them up on Friday Har on Friday Harbor Live. Um, 
sorry, I got a little distracted there. Apparently we had a little technology issue and we're working around that, which we do, which is great. We can do that. And um, it's, it looks to me like Betsy has just joined us again. So I am going to bring her on in. And here she is, three, two, one. Is she there? Is she there? There she is. Hi, Betsy. Oh, and now we are missing some volume all of a sudden, and I'm not sure why. So, Betsy, we might need you to refresh your window <laughs> on your computer. So, um, if you could, <laughs> we like to troubleshoot right as we go. It's technology. So if you go to the address bar where the um, link is and you just hit enter, it should refresh you. So I'm going to do this really quickly and they will be right back in here. You're so patient. We really, really, really appreciate that about you. Um, they had, um, like I said, it's just some little technology glitches. But it's such an interesting thing to be on the show today and to talk about our high school graduates, some of which I know had gone to baby group at the Family Resource Center. So what an amazing thing to have both ends of the spectrum there in one episode. And um, I would love just to a little share of likes or smiles or little comments to know who has benefited from the Family Resource Center and most specifically the baby groups, whether it's at the library, Lapsit and Linger, at the Family Resource Center. I know with both of my kids, I took advantage of every single one I could go to and my kids absolutely loved it. And once upon a time, there was um, a, a, a music with Maggie too, which was a gift, but she moved away. <laughs> she moved away. So um, we are just waiting here for a couple more seconds. Let's see, and here we go. There we go, and we have Betsy now oh, in our stream. There she is. All right, are we ready? We ready are to start again. Hello, friends. We're glad you came today. We're glad you came today. Wave hello to everyone. We're glad you came today. So today we're going to be talking about things that go, things with wheels like trains and trucks, cars and buses. But first, before that, I want to talk about masks. Have you guys noticed when you leave home and go to town, go to the grocery store, most people are wearing masks these days. And that's because we want to keep germs from, we want to keep from breathing out germs that might make somebody else sick. So we wear a mask. When everybody wears a mask, we all keep safe. And little children and babies don't have to wear masks. The rest of us wear masks so that we'll, so you will be safe also. So I think Yubi's going to show you some masks, but we have, here's a doll wearing a mask. There's one kind of mask. And I don't know if you can see our bear over here is wearing a mask. And I have a mask. That's my mask. My mask has penguins on it. And <laughs> um, so we just want you to know one of the things that happens is um, when people are wearing masks, it's hard to tell who it is. It's hard to see them. Well, here's Yubi back. And I think she's going to talk to you about masks a little bit. Oh, look, she's showing you masks. Hi, um, hola. Da un poco de miedo ver a la gente con máscara. It is a bit scary seeing people with their mask on their face. But 
one thing we need to remember is we can hear the their voice and we are doing this to protect you and you know like betsy i have this one it's in one color because we need to carry more than one because we have to change it every day and we handle it from the sides we got this one with the stars and this one is blue but the most important thing is we need to wash our hands now it's betsy miss betsy <laughs> All right. So now that we've talked about masks, now let's talk about things that go. And I know that Cameron and Ivy and Romy and Griffin all love to play with the train set. I'm not sure if you can see my train set here. There it is. Now you can see it, I think. Oops. I think I'm gonna pull it up a little bit so that I can see you or you can see me. Um, let's see, what was I gonna tell you about the train? Oh, I was gonna show you the cars. And here is the engine. And here is the passenger car. It's kind of a funny passenger car with only one passenger. <laughs> And here is my favorite part of the train, the caboose. And we have a song about the caboose. And it goes, little red caboose, chug, 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 little red caboose, chug, 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 little red caboose behind the train, 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 train. Smokestack on its back, 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 come down the track, 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 little red caboose behind the train, doot, doot. When you hear that whistle, you'll feel like a king. When you hear that bell ring, it'll make you want to sing about that little red caboose, chug, chug, chug. Little red caboose, bum, bum, bum. Little red caboose behind the train, 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 train. Little red caboose behind the train, train, train. Hanging on the end, end, end. Come round the bend, bend, bend. Little red caboose behind the train. Doo, doo. All right. Now, Yubi's going to show you a road she made. I think. <laughs> we're having a little technical difficulty today, but we're working on it. <laughs> Here we go. Whoops. Can okay, we, can we move it down a little? Hey, yeah, yeah. That got it? Mm -hmm. uh, they don't see me, but it's oh, I can move that. Okay, let's see. We have the tape that everybody had a tape in, at home. And I did this little road, and I have my little tracks, and I can play. This would probably be more fun if we played on the floor and the ground. Oh, you can see my face. And I made a tunnel. There it's just a simple, uh, like a piece of paper and four pieces of tape, and we have a tunnel. Let's see. I know Cairns, the Lord of Likes Cars in Harrison. There goes my car and my tunnel. We all remember this little car. We do miss you guys on the playroom. And I can do another tunnel, maybe with my favorite book. And I'm gonna open the book and it's much easier. Another tunnel. Maybe mom and my older sister or brother will help at home. You see, as simple as a tape on the floor, on the carpet. Thank you, now it's Miss Betsy. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. Well, <laughs> oh, you're going to go read that book, so you need to be where I am. <laughs> We've got another story coming up. And again, we apologize for the technical problems, but I think Yubi's coming to read a book.
Oh, UB, you are there. <laughs> Yay. Yes, now I see you. Let's hear that story about the pigeon. Looks like we're having a little connectivity issue there. We're going to pop over to Betsy, and I think she has a story for us to listen to. Betsy, do you have that story ready? And We're going to go with the little blue, blue truck. We're not able to get Yubi and her story in this time, so we'll try that another time. But this story is called the little blue truck. Hornwind feet. Engine purred, friendliest sounds you ever heard. Little blue truck came down the road. Beep said blue to a big green toad. Toad said croak and winked an eye when little blue truck went rolling by. Sheep said ba, cow said moo, oink said a piggy, beep said blue. <laughs> Cluck said a chicken, and her chick said peep. Meh said a goat. Blue said beep. Nay said a horse. Quack said a duck. Beep said the friendly little blue truck. Honk yelled a dump truck coming through. I've big important things to do. I haven't got time to pass the day with every duck along the way. Oh no, poor duck. Room went the dump around a curve. He saw a puddle and he tried to swerve. Into the mud rolled the big fat truck and his big important wheels got stuck. His heavy duty dump truck, truck trot tires were sunk down deep in muck and mire. Honk cried the dump and he sounded scared, but nobody heard or nobody cared. Then into the mud, bump, 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 came the little blue truck to help the dump. Little blue pushed with all his might. Now blue and the dump were both stuck tight. Help, 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 cried the little blue truck. Beep, 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 I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Everybody heard that beep, beep, beep. The cow came running with the pig and the sheep. Up at a gallop ran the big brown horse. Goat jumped over the fence, of course. Then hen came flapping with chick and the duck, and everybody pushed the little blue truck. Head to head and rump to rump, they all pushed blue, who pushed the dump. They couldn't quite budge that heavy load. Then who hopped up but the big green toad? All together, one, two, three, one last push, and the trucks were free. Thanks, little brother, said Dump to Blue. You helped me, and they helped you. Now I see a lot depends on a helping hand from a few good friends. Beep, said Blue. Who wants a ride? Everybody scrambled to jump inside. Oink. Quack, meh, moo, cluck, beep, nay, croak, meh. Beep, beep, beep. And that's the end. Oh, and I forgot to tell you at the beginning that it's Alice Shirtle was the author and it was illustrated by Jill Meckle-Murray. It's important to remember who wrote the book. That is such a great book. Do you think Yubi might want to give it another try? Because it looks like her system is up now. We could see. Yubi. Hey, Yubi. Can you try again? I'll jump out. Nope. No. Oh, there we go. You're on now. Okay, let's try one more. No dejes que la paloma conduzca el bus. By Mo Williams. Don't let the
Each and drive the bus by mobile. Yes. I'm back and I'm going to bring Betsy back in here. It seems like that connection in that room is just having a little struggle today. So we'll have to figure that out because we want to hear Yubi's story. <laughs> so, oh, I'm going to read the story. Oh, I'll okay. That would be fabulous. Let's try that. So we want to hear Yubi's story. It's so good. I mean, it's the pigeon. We want to hear the pigeon. And it's the pigeon, and I love that it's in Spanish. So make sure you you listen carefully because she's going to read it to you in Spanish. Here she goes. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Don't let the pigeon ride the bus. No dejes que la paloma conduzca el bus. Hey, soy el conductor del autobús. Tengo que irme por un momento. Quería pedirte si puedes hacerte cargo. Y recuerda, no dejes a la paloma que conduzca, no dejes que la paloma conduzca el bus. Hey, I'm the driver of the bus. I gotta go for a little bit. Remember, don't let the pigeon drive the bus. Here we go. Here is the bus. Where is the pigeon? Oh, creí que no se iría nunca. I thought he was never going to leave. Hey, can I drive the bus? Oye, ¿puedo conducir el autobús? Please. I'll be careful. Por favor, tendré cuidado. Look, listen. I only gonna touch the wheel. My cousin, Herb, drives the bus almost every day. Well, just, uh, mira, escucha esto. Solo tocaré el volante. Mi primo Herb conduce el autobús casi todos los días. Te aseguro, I assure you. Brum, 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 brum. Pigeon on the wheel. Brum, 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 brum. Paloma en el volante. Uh, they never let me do anything. Nunca me dejan hacer nada. Mm. Oye, tengo otra idea. Vamos a jugar a conducir el bus. Yo primero. Hey, I got an idea. Let's play to drive the bus. I'll go first. Come on, it's just one, one drive around the block. Venga, es solo una vuelta a la, a la vuelta a la manzana. Please. Yo tengo que hacerlo. De, how about if I give you five bucks? It's okay. Let me drive the bus. Please. Déjame conducir el bus. Uh, I think some of us were feeling this way sometimes. Ya estoy aquí. No dejaste que la paloma condujera el autobús, ¿verdad? Estupendo. Muchas gracias. Hey, I'm here. You didn't let the, the pigeon ride the bus. Well, true? Great. Thank you. Uh. 
Oh, bye. Adiós. Bien. Gracias. Thank you. No, it's Betsy's. I think you're back on. Yeah. Well, we have one more song, and I know all of you know this one. I bet even Anna and Isabel and, oh dear, I forgot. Anna, Isabel, and um, their sister as well as Adam and Lucas are beginning to know this song. And I know all the older kids know it really well. So here we go. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. And the doors on the bus go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The doors on the bus go open and shut all through the town. And the driver on the bus says, please move back, please move back, please move back. The driver on the bus says, please move back all through the town and the wipers on the bus go swish 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 the wipers on the bus go swish 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 all through the town and the babies on the bus go where 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 the babies on the bus go where 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 all through the town and the parents on the bus go the parents on the bus go jump through the town and the wheels on the bus go round and round round and round round and round the wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. So that's it for this time. I'm so sorry we had so much technical trouble. We hope we'll have it fixed by next time. We're hoping we're going to have a video camera by the next time, and that would make a big difference. Um, it most definitely will. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Thank Bye. you, Betsy. Thank you, you being mwah. You're and welcome. Don't go away just Thank you. yet. <laughs> okay, and so for all of our fabulous little viewers out there, we have a little link in the comments for you. We made a little worksheet for your caregiver to print off if you can, um, or you can just click on it and look at it on your screen. But the idea here is for you to point to things that can go. So what you can do is point and say, ooh, does this go? Oh, does that go? And your parent, your caregiver will tell you yes or no. So there's a few surprises in there. Also at the bottom, contact information for the San Juan Island Family Resource Center, who we adore. And so thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Yubi and Betsy, for being absolute champions through uh, technological interestingness that happens when you're in a live environment. If I had to go through that with anyone, I'm glad it was you too. So we will see you tomorrow. We have Elena Rojas here and she is going to be giving us her best cake decorating tips. She has a really special treat for you. So um, I mean, who doesn't love cake, right? So I will see you tomorrow and have a great day. Bye-bye.